Okay, so we are gonna be talking about my pantry and fridge staples. So these are things that I buy pretty much every single time that I go to the grocery store. The first thing on my list I actually don't have. I actually just ran out of, so I need to get more. But that is lemons. Lemons are a great source of vitamin C. I like to drink lemon water all throughout the day, especially in the morning. Lemons are really good for your skin. I really like to use like a squeeze of fresh lemon on top of lots of different food. I feel like it just kind of like freshens up the meal and brightens it up. It's a great healthy alternative to like adding extra salt. So lemon is great. That is number one on my list for a reason. It is a goal of mine to have a lemon tree someday. So I will have a lemon tree someday. So the next thing on my list is beans, canned beans, all different kinds of canned beans, um, black beans and chickpeas or garbanzo beans are like two of my favorites. It's a really great plant-based protein. Um, they're very versatile. You can do so many different things with them and they're just great to have in the house. They're something that I reach for all the time. They're also high in fiber. They are inexpensive and so good for you, so nutrient dense. So we always have canned beans in the house. The next thing on my list is canned tuna. And not just any canned tuna, this tuna is specifically packed in olive oil. So it is higher calorie when it's packed in olive oil, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's not healthy if it's higher in calorie. It is high in protein, obviously, 29 grams of protein for one can. That is amazing. And I personally, because I'm trying to get in more calories, I leave the olive oil. Some people drain it out. So a lot of people think that if something is low calorie, like a lot of companies will put on their packaging, low calorie, and it makes people wanna buy it if they're trying to lose weight. I always tell people, read the labels. Low calorie does not necessarily mean that it's healthier for you. In general, overall, go for real foods. Don't go for the processed junk that has a long list of ingredients. Stay away from those types of foods. Go for foods that have a short list of ingredients or just fresh produce, fruits, vegetables whole grains, those types of things. Because it's higher in calorie and it has that olive oil, it'll keep you fuller longer versus the lower calorie tuna that's just packed in water. And I find too that if I eat the tuna that's just packed in water, I end up having to add a bunch of stuff to it anyways to make it taste good. So I prefer tuna packed in olive oil and I always have this in my pantry. Okay, so my light just died and so I had to take a break and charge it. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't die, it's, it's still low battery right now, so we're gonna see, hopefully I can make it through this video. The next thing on my list is frozen fruit. So I always have frozen fruit in the freezer. Um, I have pineapple, mango, I have blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, I have a bunch in my freezer. They're obviously great for smoothies. Another thing that I love to do with the frozen fruit is cherries specifically. I like to put them in my oatmeal. Oh, it's so good. It's like one of my favorite things. So, so obviously fruit is packed with nutrients, packed with vitamins, antioxidants, tons of good stuff that you want and that you need. And frozen fruit is no different. They keep all those nutrients and all that goodness even when they're frozen. So they're really nice and convenient. I always have frozen fruit in my freezer. Okay, so the next thing on my list is oats. I always have oats in the house. It is my go-to breakfast, especially before, especially before the gym. Oats are great. They give me so much energy. They make me feel full, longer. Oats are another great source of protein, plant-based protein, high in fiber. Again, rich in antioxidants, so good for you. Also very versatile. There's so many different things you can do with oats, not just oatmeal. But yeah, oats are great. Again, I will always have these in the house. Okay, next on the list is 
a big one. This is a snack that I reach for all the time. That is nuts. So I have some sliced almonds here. Walnuts, which are like my go-to because they're super high in calorie and I'm trying to get in more calories these days. Um, oh, cashews. I have all sorts of nuts. I actually still have more in the cabinet. Um, but yeah, I always have these in the house. These are so good for like to keep in the car. Um, just if you're starving, like a handful of nuts goes a really long way. Nuts are full of good, healthy fats that are good for so many different reasons. They're packed with omegas. They've been shown to fight inflammation. Nuts are another great plant-based protein. As you can see, I have a lot of plant-based proteins because I am trying to lean more towards a plant-based lifestyle. Um, obviously, I still have the tuna is a big staple in my diet. I don't think I will ever give up fish or eggs. Those are such a huge staple in my diet. But in general, I choose to lean more towards plant-based foods. So, all right, next on my list is cherry tomatoes. So I love cherry tomatoes. Ever since I was young, I would just snack on these like popcorn. I still do, that's why I always have tons of cherry tomatoes. They're a great snack. I love to have cherry tomatoes with hummus. It's like an amazing snack, really healthy and easy. If, you, if you're trying to eat healthier, I know that one struggle for a lot of people is when they're starving or if they just want a snack. I know a lot of people are snackers. They'll reach for something that's convenient, chips, cookies, whatever it may be, but that's why I like to have healthy snacks around the house. Tomatoes and hummus, nuts, like a lot of the things I just listed. There goes my light again, and my husband is calling me. Hello? What's up? Okay guys, so my light keeps dying. I'm sorry, I know this lighting really sucks. All right, this is the best I can do. Next time I will make sure that my light is charged before I try and film a video. Anyways, okay, where was I? So, if you're anything like me, you may have a sweet tooth, especially right after dinner, like as soon as I'm done eating dinner, I need something sweet. Sweets, most of the time, are not great for you, so it's nice to have something that you can benefit from. So that would be dark chocolate. Um, this dark chocolate in particular is not the best, it's it's really delicious. Um, the one thing about dark chocolate that's really nice compared to milk chocolate, in my opinion, is a little bit goes a long way. So when I have that sweet tooth, I just grab like one little square of dark chocolate and that's all I need. Like my sweet tooth is just gone as soon as I eat it. So when you're getting dark chocolate, you're gonna want to go for one that is a higher percentage. This one doesn't even say the percentage. 47%, so that's fairly low for dark chocolate. So I'll usually go for like a 60 or a 70% dark chocolate. Um, it's more bitter the higher the percentage, but better for you. So, and I found the more bitter that the chocolate is, the less I need, like a little bit goes a really long way. So not only that, but dark chocolate is rich in magnesium, iron, antioxidants versus milk chocolate, which has a ton of added milk, sugar, stuff that you don't necessarily want to be eating all the time. Once in a while, of course. I am not perfect. I do not eat perfect 24-7. Before I started bulking, bulking, loosely bulking, before I started eating more, um, I was really, really restrictive with what I ate. I cut out a lot of foods. I ate very minimal and looking back now, I know that I had a pretty unhealthy relationship with food. Yes, I saw results when it came to my body. I was starting to slim down and I was seeing some muscle definition, very little. Um, 
but my relationship with food was not healthy. Now, I eat what I want. I eat healthy. Um, I, if I'm hungry, I eat. If I'm full, I stop. I feel like it's really important to keep your relationship with food as healthy as possible. Don't feel like you need to cut out a certain food group to be healthy. You don't need to cut out carbs to be healthy. That is bull um, You don't need to cut out fat to be healthy. There are so many good fats. Nuts, seeds, olive oil, coconut oil, there's so many things, and same thing with carbs, bananas, quinoa, oats, like there are so many healthy carbs, healthy fats, healthy proteins. You don't have to cut out an entire food group to be healthy. And I am going to go off on a rant right now, so I'm gonna stop right now. I'll save that for another video. If you're interested in me talking more about that, let me know in the comment section down below, and I will be happy to do so because I am very passionate about that topic. So, everything that is everything for this video um, I'm sure there's more I can do a pantry staple fridge staple kitchen essential don't know what I'm gonna call this video yet but I'll figure that out later I can do a part two if you guys like this video I have tons of other things that I could add to this list so if you're interested in that let me know Thank you if you made it this far in the video. You're the real MVP. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're not subscribed yet, also click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And... Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.